You never know what you will find shaping a world that's in your mind. See for yourself and walk with me. Hello guys, and welcome to Fear of Mobs. And in this episode, I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of everything I've done since the last episode, which ended with me building my skeleton trap. Now, I filmed about an hour of new footage to, um, uh, you know, just building a couple things, uh, finishing off the trap, giving a tour, but all the audio was just horrible. I sounded like a robot. And as you can see, that uh, I've done quite a bit. Not this way, but behind me, and I don't want to show it to you until I'm ready. You saw the cobblestone steps, but I'm still not ready. So, yeah, again, an hour of video gone because the audio sounds like a robot. And let's just show you what I've done. I, I really, really hate it when I see giant jumps in other people's Let's Plays. So I hate it even more when I do it. Uh, but I guess I'll just show you what this is. Now, I'm kind of guessing that this is my spawn point. And what I built here is a little safety place. And uh, here's how it works. And it's perfect because the sun's going down. Um, it's a little walkway, a cobblestone walkway that leads down to the house. Or the mine, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I put that in, in the video I recorded and it was gone. So uh, there's a lip that goes around the entire thing so uh, spiders cannot crawl up. I haven't completely tested it and I really do not feel safe doing so, but... The mechanics so far in my head work. I had, I did actually have a spider, but you know, he, the bridge was still under construction, so he couldn't have climbed up anyway. But this looks like it's done. I plan on making another one that leads up there, another path that just goes up in that general direction. Maybe like a farm or something. That's going to be cool. Over here is the nice little entrance to the base. But... I also have a side door in case I accidentally fall off this way uh, or I'm coming in from the top of the mountain and I don't have time to run all the way over there. If you'll notice, there's no way in from down here. So I put in a side door to allow me to walk in without a problem. There we go. Not a lot's happened in here. There's still that giant gaping hole I want to fix. And then there's that annoying... Yeah, right there. I want to fix eventually. Oh, hey. Huh bed's still the same, but the next, probably the biggest thing is the skeleton trap. I've done a lot of work to it. It is finished. It's operational. In the last episode, I started it, and, you know, I gave it a kickstart, and now it's spawning arrows and bones by the hundreds, thousands even, I don't know. I think it's thousands. Oh, why did I turn that off? There we go. Um, wait, why is it still off? Ah! Sorry, sorry, okay, here we go. I wanted my sword out, and I went and pressed the F1 key instead of the 1 key. I still need to pretty that up, but I've prettied this area up a lot. So don't be too shocked when you just see that. It's a lot different. I did a lot of work, spent a couple hours, and, uh, yeah. So here's our first spawner, the spider spawner, and I just cleared out a straight path to the skeleton spawner. I put this here so that monsters cannot come over here and just bleh. And as you can see right here uh, in the past, I actually had a zombie just randomly walking over there. I don't know what the deal was with that. He was easy to vanquish, but I still don't get how he got here. So, um, back over here, um, I also installed some stone plates uh, with some redstone wiring underneath. If I step on them, they will open and then close the doors. So if I op stand on them now, they will open the doors. If I get off, they will close. I only need to touch one plate to open both doors. That's how great the system works. I guess a, a shout out to Lucklin from Minecraft Workbench for that little hint. Over here is the skeleton spawner. I'm going to show you how it worked from above. I carved this area out to make a nice little walkway up to the viewing area. I also covered up the little mini cave that was above us. Well, not really cave, more of the passageway. Covered it up because, you know, safety precautions. So this entire area is sealed up. It's well lit with torches. It's all good. And here is a skeleton spawner. And there's a skeleton drowning. Eh, you're gonna die. Yeah, there he goes, dying. Let me show you how this works. So the water is placed under a small ridge right there. Um, it's not directly against the wall, it's under a small ridge under the wall. 
or not even ridge, a little, whatever, a little gap under the wall. And it pushes all the skeletons downward. There's also two blocks between the two blocks between the ground and the spawner, so if anybody were to get stuck behind it, they'd be able to get around it really easily. I guess. And um, the glass forms some kind of downward current for the water. It's strange. It's like a... I don't know how to explain it. It just forces the skeletons down, and you'll see they just can't resist it. If it was, you know, if it was a rock or stone or dirt, it wouldn't work. I know that from experience. Yep, and you can hear them dying. So let's head down here. I really want to... This is bugging. This is bugging me right here. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because I'm giving you a tour. Right here on the right, arrows. And as you can see, I've spent a couple days getting arrows. So we have more arrows than anybody should ever own at one time. Over here we have bones. More bones than I will ever need. So I'll just throw some in here. And um, the pressure plates keep the water flowing straight out. I use these stone plates so they're a little less obtrusive, so they don't they're they're not an eyesore, they're just they're almost transparent or invisible. And this wooden one just because if you know me I'm I'm kinda of for design. I try to make things look good. And you can kinda of get up here and just take a quick look just for fun. See there's a skeleton drowning right there. And down below, here's how the all the tool, bleh, tools. Here's how all the items get to me. So the skeletons come down here. They drown in this three-block-tall waterfall. So there's no way they're they're gonna stay alive. Um, they die after a few minutes. That one's not gonna drown for a little while. Then um, the water wants to flow out because there's a small ridge there and a small trench here. It wants to flow. What the heck was that? It wants to flow out, but it can't because signs are right here. So the signs keep the water, but not the items, from flowing out of the middle pieces here. And on the ends, the water is free to flow out along with the items. It will drop down and push everything into a current right in here. And just naturally, everything comes out that way. That is how the skeleton trap works. And if you stand here all day long and just it will just spawn and spawn and spawn monsters until the cows come home I don't know yeah so we have more bones in it and, and this is good this is gonna be good for those that wolf update if you haven't see it seen it or heard about it not just gonna put in some wolves or dogs which you can tame with bones and or food so that's gonna be fun. wow four skeletons at once check it out I also realize that lava only flows four blocks, so I guess it didn't need all, didn't need all that space there for lava. I kind of gave it prematurely, but it doesn't matter. This one works like a charm, and it turned out really nice. I like it. And other over here, I didn't do anything to the cave really. I uh... okay, didn't hear any monsters. Um, I just kind of, you know, blocked it off. I put glass here so that you can easily look around and see there's a creeper standing right there. Which there isn't, but, you know, in case there might have been. You can always look through. And that's about it. Yeah, so that's 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 all the stuff we've changed. And by we, I mean me. That's all the stuff I've changed. I haven't done anything else. I haven't done any exploring. Didn't search for any materials. Uh, I did spend, you know, I did leave my my uh, game on you know, for two nights in a row to get all those arrows lag all those arrows but uh... you know that's that's it you didn't want to see me just stand there incredibly boring i still haven't explored up there yeah, it still gives me a creep it's probably how that zombie got down here probably just fell down there and then wandered his way over here anyway that's that's all the stuff that's been changed so yeah Next, we're going to go build the second path I told you about. I'm thinking of making an animal slaughtery. Slaughtery? What's that? Well, what I'm going to do is make a fenced-off little farm area. And uh, then I'm going to... Oh, it's nighttime. What is, is that fire? What the heck is that? Oh, that's the torch I just placed a little while ago. Oh, I'm such a dork. 
Well, where did, oh my, it looks scary out there with all the torches, it looks like red eyes, creepy, well I should be able to go out there, hey, the sun's coming up, yay, so let me g gather some cobblestone, and we'll go out there and build, build to our heart's content, and I'm going to need some fences, but I don't think I have any, I have some wooden planks, but not enough for really anything. I should have grabbed some arrows. Why am I coming down up here without any arrows? Oh boy. Me and... Me and me. I don't know. I'm probably not going to need these. What I'm doing is sorting my inventory. And Okay. Now before we do much, we need to gather some wood. Actually, we'll do that later. Right now, we got to build the pathway. I'm still... Monsters could still plop down onto there and ruin my day. Oh, hey, a creeper, check it out. Now, in the wild, we'll see the wild creeper swimming, and it's not, oh, two wild creepers in the natural habitats. And the best way to defend against them is to, one, run away, or two, cut their faces right off with a diamond Ooh. sword, which we all know is physically impossible to create, but in Minecraft, Creepers are possible, so so are diamonds. Okay, I am not a crocodile hunter. Wait, where did? He, okay, come here, feller. I've been told that whistling into my mic is a bad idea, but I can't help it sometimes. Oh, don't go off. <laughs> you are a oh, jerk. Didn't drop anything. You are vanquished. I see another creeper. I think I know that there are three creepers out here. Here, fella. Here, fella. Fella. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. No gunpowder. Come on. Oh, my. Yeah. I, I just didn't know he was looking at... Oh, my. No, no, no. Okay. Um. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> you fall did did again. Oh, you suck. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Ninja! Heck, yeah! You saw that. I... There's no gunpowder here. What the heck? What is the deal with that? No gunpowder. Oh, hey! Fourth one! Okay. Come on, give me four. You need... Oh, no. Don't blow. Don't don't blow up. Yeah! One. Well, it's like our motto is... Shut up, cow. I'm not in the mood. Four creepers. Four! Four creepers! And no gun... Okay, one gunpowder. That's like that's that is nothing. That's that's one gunpowder. But I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. It's a random drop system. Maybe one day I'll find four creepers and get eight. Eight gunpowder. Okay, focus. Focus. Okay, I need to drop on down here and I need to uh, uh. down, down, down. I need to build this crazy little pathway. Build, dig, dig. So let's start off with a couple of these. And it needs to stay elevated so that creatures don't get up here. So let's get rid of that. What I'm going to do is just place down some stairs. That's how we're going to do this. Is it my, Am I even doing it right? Or am I doing it wrong? I think I'm doing Yeah, I'm doing it right. So two stairways wide. Oh, no. Don't do that. That just makes things harder. No, that's what she's... None of those jokes now. So happy I could ride up 